What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. How's it going everyone? I'm in Gilroy, California. The garlic capital of the world. I'm in the main street right now and I'm going to show you guys around. Yeah, so we have a main street right here. And uh, yeah, let's just go walk over here. Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of rainy. It rained a while ago, but it stopped raining. And I have my umbrella right here just in case it rains because I don't want my gimbal to get wet. So I'm going to try not to edit the video too much because I want to show you guys around. See how it looks like everything. I just uh, came back from San Jose. I took like a road, a road test to drive one of those uh, Amazon step vans. I passed it. So they told me it's going to take like maybe three days for it to... Oh, what's going on there? You see that? That's archery. They're doing some archery there. Yeah, so there's no skateboarding allowed here. Yeah, that's City Hall, old City Hall. I think over there, there was a coffee shop. That might have been a coffee shop. I forgot the name of the, the store, or the uh, shop. I think it was called uh, Gilroy Roasting or something. I'm not too sure about that. So the time is, I think it's like three, three o'clock right now. And um, I got back from San Jose around two. It was raining over there pretty bad. But uh, yeah, I beat the traffic, came over here, and I just felt like doing a YouTube video. Um, the last two videos that I posted, it's crazy. Um, I guess YouTube is not recommending my videos anymore. I have no idea. It's, it sucks. It, yeah, it sucks a lot. But uh, I don't know. I think the YouTube algorithm is against me. There's this one YouTuber who like would upload consistently, and then he started making these videos, uh, homeless videos, like going around Venice Beach and documenting like all the homeless people. And like he had like a thousand subscribers before that, right? He had a thousand subscribers before that, and um, what happened was, oh, let's walk over here. And what happened was, he got like thirteen thousand more subscribers. So, and he was talking about uh, making videos that that you like, and uh, that might not necessarily be like the best way to grow your channel, because uh, that's what people don't want to see. And I'm thinking the same thing too. I mean, it sucks, but uh, oh wow. Yeah, so I'm going out, out of the uh, downtown area here. Yeah, it's just the railroad tracks. So let's just go back. I'll show you guys around. So the reason why it's called the garlic capital of the world, Gilroy, it's because they produce a lot of garlic here. Simple as that. So every year, they would have a thing called the Garlic Festival. And that, like, attract, that attracts a lot of people from all over the, the uh, United States. Uh, it attracts the media too, all that stuff. But they had to cancel it because of the coronavirus. And the crazy thing about the uh, garlic festival, there was a shooting, a mass shooting that happened. I think this was like last year. And after that, like all the uh, the media, you know, the ma the major uh, networks, news networks, cover the story about that mass shooting that happened in the Gilroy. And the crazy thing is, 
the crazy thing is, oh, so here's the map of Gilroy. So that's just the, um, it's just Salzy. I guess that's like a bus, a bus route. So going back to the, uh, the mass shooting that happened. So, uh, it was all over the news. And then like after like, what was it like four days later or a week later, there was that one mass shooting in uh, Texas, I think. It was, uh, I think it might've been a Walmart. So yes, yeah, let's go over here. So it might've been a Walmart, I'm not sure. So that got all the attention and like everyone, the news media forgot, completely forgot about Gilroy. And then, uh, yeah, that's what happened. And the crazy, the crazy thing is, like I kind of felt like going to the garlic festival on that day that it happened, the shooting. But I was like, nah, I'm a little too lazy to go there right now. Do really want to go? And uh, hey, and it paid off. Uh, or I got lucky, I guess, because uh, you know I, I wasn't in a mass shooting. So I know this one guy who works at a uh, Safeway here in Gilroy. And he actually went, he actually went to the uh, garlic festival the day of the shooting. And uh, I talked to him, he told me, he told me that it sounded like uh, firecrackers. And uh, just, you know, I was talking to him through, uh, uh, what was it? I think uh, Facebook chat or something. And uh, yeah, it was, it was just, uh, you can see his look, the look on his face. That, uh, that, yeah, he could have been uh, killed, but he got lucky. So, it's a crazy, crazy story. So that's a bookstore over there. I think I'm gonna, yeah, let's just walk, uh, let's just keep going this way, and then I'll just make my way around on the other side. So it's not that cold right now. It's maybe like 60 to 65 degrees. It's all, it's all right. It's very slippery here. This looks probably like apartments, I guess. Yeah, it's apartments. Yeah, so I was talking about the the YouTube algorithm. Um, it's kind of so the last two videos uh, that I put out. Uh, I don't think uh, YouTube's recommending them anymore. It's a kind of disappointment. It's kind of like it doesn't really motivate me to make any more videos. But at the same time, you know, I'm uh, what motivates me to make these videos is uh, you guys. You know, my subscribers. So uh just thanks uh, thanks thanks for the uh, encouragement. I appreciate it. You guys get me going to making these videos. You guys uh, motivate me. So thanks. All right, so I guess this is pretty much like the like the end of Main Street where you have all the shops. I don't want to touch it coronavirus you know I guess I'll just pause the video here real quick because I'm gonna have to be waiting for that for that uh, orange hand signal to turn uh, green or whatever you know it's a bit awkward to kind of talking to the uh, camera you know as I said on my last video uh, I'm kind of getting used to it already I'm, I'm getting used to uh, talking in public it's not that embarrassing anymore because when I first started out when I first started out you know I would just like find a corner and just talk 
but it's not that bad anymore. I kind of, I kind of got used to it. So let me see here. I have so far I've recorded about 10 minutes, two minutes, 12 minutes, 12 minutes total. Oh look at that! That's a really old sewing machine there. That's neat. So that's pretty much uh, what I got going on here. You know, I just kind of wanted to make a, a YouTube video and, you know, try to, be, try to be consistent with my uploads. I'm aiming towards, like, putting out a video every, every Wednesday. Let's see if I can do it. You know, the nature of my channel, Skate to Explore videos, it requires, I guess, it requires me that I just like travel right and make videos of like other cities and whatever but uh, I don't know it's kind of expensive to uh, to like uh, spend all that money on gas and uh, you know right now not my video is not being recommended uh, to other people because of the YouTube out you the YouTube algorithm it's a bit discouraging Kind of makes me think, if I were to like create a video, not a video, if I were to make a, a YouTube channel that was like just based on talking, you know, you know, there's those YouTubers that, um, there's those YouTubers that just have like a desk and they talk and that's all they do, right? So, uh, this is a pretty good coffee shop right here, if you want to get your coffee. I forget, let me see what's the name of this. It is... Coffee Roasting Company. Yeah, Coffee Roasting Company in Garroy. So as I was saying, if I had one of those YouTube channels that, you know, like, uh, I just had, like, a desk and I just talked about stuff, about topics that's popular, you know, what's going on, that would be, be pretty good to me, for me. over here look at that I've never been here before um, I think I could just go back it's like really quiet over here So you guys are probably wondering why uh, that my videos are pretty smooth. Like before, there will be really, the footage would be really shaky, right? Well, it's because I got a, myself a gimbal. I got the uh, DJI Osmo 4. So far, it's been pretty good. I like it. So I'm going to almost end the video here. I'll just uh, show, you, show you some stuff here. Show you some stuff downtown Gearway. So if you guys made it this far into the video, I would like to know where you guys come from. You don't, ha you don't have to say like a lot of details, just, uh, you know, just give me a shout out. like. If you come from uh, Tennessee or Texas or whatever, I'd like to know. I'd like to know what, what you, where, you, uh, where you guys come from. So I'm almost at the uh, place where I parked, and uh, I kind of want to talk talk about some other things too. Do you, uh, like uh, you heard, you heard what's going on with the uh, game stock, the stock. That's some something's going on there. I've, I've been watching these uh, videos on YouTube, uh, Lewis Rossman, and all these other guys talk about like how the little people are, are like stepping up to these huge hedge funds. 
buying the stocks of GameStop and some other ones that are being shorted by these like um, hedge funds. So far, uh, the hedge funds have lost like billions of dollars because I guess the stock, uh, GameStop and some other ones were going down. We're, we're betting on it going down. So I guess some somewhere in Reddit or somewhere, I, I think it's called, I think on like market beat something. They're like saying, oh yeah, uh, like come on everyone, buy the stock, so go up and uh, they can lose all this money. So the crazy thing about this is that Robinhood, uh, so Robinhood is an app where you trade, where you buy, buy uh, and sell stocks. Uh, so today, they uh, they uh, stopped people from from buying game stocks stock, and that's that's pretty. I mean, that's not right. You, you can tell. Yeah, it's insane. And TD Ameritrade did, did the same thing. I think I should just walk here. Uh, so far. Yeah, I have like, what, nine minutes, one minute before uh, this thing resets again. So about the socks. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. And uh, just people are just, it's just, are just mad with the, uh, I guess, the establishment of all these uh, hedge funds. You know, because because the little guys, when, when they lose, no one bails them out, right? But, uh... When the stock market, like the all the big shots, uh, when they lose, they uh, they get bailouts. So, so yeah, it's a good. I'm kind of. It's it's a good thing that that's what's going on about the uh, the little people stepping up to the uh, the hedge funds, and I mean, I'm all for it. It's not that big. The town's not that big. It's it's kind of medium sized and it's right next to a major highway, Highway 101. So because of that, uh, I'm, there's a lot of businesses here, like Costco, Walmart, because uh, what I've noticed is the major businesses like Costco, Walmart, all these, uh, Home Depot, uh, they set their uh, establishments or their businesses uh, near major highways. That way they can make more money because uh, that's how it is. You won't find any of those big stores where, uh, in Hollister because Hollister is like way in the middle of nowhere far away from uh, a major highway that runs through California. But as I was saying I'm gonna cut this video now. I'm gonna say my uh, say goodbye and uh, if you get if you made it this far thanks for watching. I appreciate it and uh, hopefully uh, sooner or later my YouTube videos will get recommended again because recently they have been recommended and um, yeah it sucks but oh well I like making videos that's how it is so I'll leave it here guys until next time take it easy there uh, I'll see you on the next video bye